Bye. <laughs> Alright guys, what's up? It's CIA Chris here. And today's video consists of my predictions from the CDL 2021 Dallas Home Series. These are the matches that make up week 3 of stage 3 of the season, and this is the last set of games before the next major. Since the last predictions I recorded, even more roster changes have occurred. The Seattle Surge decided to bench Looney for Decimate. And the LA Thieves bench Tej for Huke. For this video, I'll be basing my predictions off these most current rosters. Fun fact, my predictions last week were better than all the CDL casters and analysts from this season. I ended the home series with more points than all of them. It's almost like I know what I'm talking about or something. Alright, but as always, I hope you guys enjoy. And for the first matchup here, we have the Minnesota Rocker versus the Los Angeles Gorillas. This matchup I'll be calling 3-2 in favor of the LA Gorillas. LAG will be coming into the series after facing two hard losses versus some very tough opponents. The first one being the Ultra, the most recent one being a map 5 against the Empire. This means that coming into this matchup, they will be very fired up. Minnesota, in my opinion, has not looked as good recently. They lost two out of their last three matches. These teams are currently neck and neck in the standings. Rocker is 7th and LAG is 8th. I think the LAG will look to come closer to taking the 7th spot from Minnesota and will come out with the fire here. For the next matchup, we have Optic Chicago versus the New York Subliners. This matchup I'll be calling 3-1 in favor of Optic Chicago. NYSL has not been looking as great recently as they lost to London last week. Optic last week was up to something interesting in their matchup versus the Thieves. We saw Envoy use the Milano and we also saw them pull out the FFAR. This weapon was used by both teams though. I feel that Optic will come back with their normal fire mojo here after such a weird outing versus the Thieves. NYSL has been a consistently good team so I think they will be good enough to secure at least one map however for the next matchup here we have atlanta phase versus seattle surge this series i'll be calling 3-0 in favor of atlanta phase the boys over on atlanta phase have been clutching series a lot recently they hired tupac as an s d coach and have since closed out two map fives the surge on the other hand have been struggling recently they have yet to win a series during this stage and have just made a roster change with phase being the best team in the game for so long going the entire first stage undefeated before losing multiple stage two almost dropping all their series last week and surge being a brand new team with issues to fix i don't expect the series to be close i expect phase to dominate to be honest and for the next matchup here we have the dallas empire versus the florida mutineers this matchup i'll be calling three to two in favor of the florida mutineers dallas has not looked as good since adding fellow to their roster in my opinion they almost lost to LAG last week. Florida just lost to Paris last week. This is one of the only predictions I made incorrectly. I still think this was honestly a fluke and they will look to bounce back from it here. Both teams have looked solid though. Empire even without Hughes still displays lots of talent. I honestly just think there is more talent on Florida now which is why I will have to call the series in their favor. Plus they will also be looking to recover from a loss. And for the next matchup here we have the Toronto Ultra versus the Paris Legion. This matchup I'll be calling 3-0 in favor of the Toronto Ultra. Toronto has continued to look phenomenal as of late. They are in mind and many his opinion is the best team in the game right now. They still have not dropped a series since Sunday of Major 2. Paris was able to secure a win last week, but overall has not had a good season. They are currently 10th in the standings. I think Toronto has by far looked like the better team than Paris recently. I feel that they have been on point and are more talented, which is why I'm awarding them this series. And for the next matchup, we have the LA Thieves versus the New York Subliners. This matchup I'll be calling 3-1 in favor of the LA Thieves. The Thieves have looked great during Stage 3. Their only loss so far has been to FaZe, and even that was a map 5. I expect them to only get better with the addition of you. NYSL will be coming into this matchup after just being defeated. They will be down on themselves. I don't think they will be able to recover from that as quickly as they need to to take on a team as good as the Thieves. Both of these teams are good though. They both made roster changes recently and have looked solid since. I think it should be a close series for sure with all close maps. With the addition of Huke and NYSL being in a tiny bit of a slump, I do expect the Thieves to be able to do it in less than 5 though. I do think it will take them more than 3 however as NYSL has been a really good team since stage 1. And for the next matchup here we have the Florida Mutineers versus the LA Gorillas. This matchup I'll be calling 3-0 in favor of the Florida Mutineers. Florida will be coming into this after securing themselves a big map 5 win versus Empire their last series. They will use that momentum to their advantage to help propel or carry them to a victory. LAG will also be coming in off of a win, but will have faced a weaker opponent the match prior. They will find themselves here after beating the Rocker who have struggled a bit recently. I just honestly also believe the Mutineers are the more talented team. I expect them to win this one, no question. And for the next matchup here we have the Seattle Surge versus the London Royal Ravens. This series I'll be calling 3-1 in favor of the London 
Houston Royal Ravens. London has looked better recently. They beat NYSL last week and also took phase map 5. Seattle, in contrast, will be coming into this matchup with a pretty much brand new roster still. This is after they faced phase earlier in the week, which is a series I definitely expect them to lose. This will mean that coming into this matchup, they will not have won a match yet all of stage 3. London has looked more on the come up, while Surge looks like they are still trying to find their groove. For this reason, I expect the series to go 3-1 to one, Royal Ravens. I'm sorry Seattle Octane. I'll pour one out for you, my guy. And for the next matchup here, we have Atlanta FaZe versus Optic Chicago. This matchup, I'll be calling 3-1 to one in favor of Atlanta FaZe. FaZe has been the top team at points, and their team has been a force all year long. Optic is good, but they haven't been as consistent as FaZe. They are now fourth in the standings after Toronto passed them in CDL points last week. I expect a competitive series for sure as both teams are outstanding, but I just expect FaZe to have the upper hand here. I think all the maps will be close for sure, and definitely see it going either four or five maps. And for the last matchup of the weekend here, we have the Dallas Empire versus the Minnesota Rockers. This matchup I'll be calling 3-0 in favor of the Dallas Empire. Dallas is a really good team. They may have just made a roster change, but they are still currently second in the standings. I'm sure that they will be making improvements every day with their new roster. Rockers, stated before, have been struggling recently. They will be coming into this matchup after losing their most recent one to the Gorillas. Rocker also has already beaten Dallas multiple times this year, so I honestly doubt they'd let it happen again with how good they are. They are just too talented. The maps may be close, but I expect Empire to have no issues securing the W here. I would like to note one change I made. I've changed the Optic New York series from 3-1 to 3-2. As I stated originally, I think NYSL is good enough to secure at least one map. I think it is definitely potentially possible they take two, which is why I'm not calling it a map five. And now for my updated power rankings. In 12th, the Seattle Surge. In 11th, the Paris Legion. In 10th, the Los Angeles Gorillas. In 9th, the Minnesota Rocker. In 8th, the London Royal Ravens. In 7th, the Florida Mutineers. In 6th, the New York Subliners. In 5th, the Dallas Empire. In 4th, Optic Chicago. In 3rd, the Los Angeles Thieves. In 2nd, Atlanta Phase. And in 1st, the Toronto Ultra. Alright guys, so that's pretty much it for today's video. I'm super excited for this home series, and I cannot wait to see how the last weekend of games plays out here before the major. And I hope the Thieves win too, as always of course. I also thought it was pretty cool, I did better than all the CDL personnel last week, so hopefully I'll be able to do that two weeks in a row. Alright guys, but as always, let me know what your thoughts are down below, and leave a like if you enjoyed. But until next time, it's been CIA or Chris. Hashtag 100TCIA, peace.